Hey guys, Guy Level here, and today I'm gonna show you how to use custom Twitch emotes without necessarily being partnered or even affiliated. Okay, so I mentioned Jen Panada before in my videos. She wrote an article about how to get more emotes. If you're already affiliated or partnered, you can actually get more emotes. But if you're none of those, you can still get custom emotes. Um, the only thing is you can only use them in your own channel okay the way we're gonna do this is by using an extension called better twitch tv so first thing you want to do is go to chrome or, or whatever the web browser is go to the um, plugin store so if you are using chrome you just go to the chrome web store and type better twitch tv or bttv and you will find the extension install it make sure it's active but if not you can just go to the night dev website i'll provide a link somewhere in, on the screen and now we can get started so i'm not going to show you how to create your own emotes i have a video for this i'll probably put a link somewhere up there um <laughs> but we're gonna make one i'm gonna show you um how easy it is and how fast i can just make one and upload it but we're gonna make one together on the go and we will upload it so i can show you the whole process so this is sparkle cam this is what i use to connect my dslr to my computer and use it as a webcam for my live streams but also for recording as you can see there's a huge watermark because i don't have the full version yet but anyways we're gonna take a picture in this program so that way it's fast i can take a, a high quality picture with my dslr but don't worry about taking high quality pictures it's just an emote it's gonna be super small it really doesn't matter so i want to try to make a face i don't have a creepy emote yet so i'm gonna try to to do a creepy face something like that <laughs> and i clicked on take a picture so if i go to the gallery it should be actually I'm gonna open uh, I think in pictures I should have something that says sparkle cam and right there so what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna drag and drop this into Photoshop All right, so now we're gonna export it. In my other video about how to create emotes, I showed you that there was uh, three different sizes for the emotes. It was 112, 56, and then 28. Those are like all one-to-one -one aspect ratios. But apparently for this one, you only need the 112. Okay. So now, this is the Jempanada article about how to get emotes in your Twitch channel using Better Twitch TV. So as you can see, she really goes into detail. I really recommend you guys go and read this one so you can know where to get your emotes. You really have a detailed step-by-step -step on how to upload it. So once you have your emote ready, it's time to go to manage.betterttv.net. You will connect with your Twitch account. All right, and you will click here on my emotes and you will click add right here. Upload 112 by 112. Just choose the file. Okay. And this will be the chat code. I already have a prefix that I want to keep. So I'm going to call this gal what? Here, there's a justification box. If ever you're using something that is like copywritten, but you have permission, you can um, explain that here. In our case, we created our own emote, so that's not a problem. Okay, make sure your email is here. Uh, if your email is not showing here, you have to go to your Twitch settings to make sure that you have a valid email because you're connected with your Twitch account. Okay, so this is where they're gonna send you the mail telling you that your, your emote has been approved or declined. And if you take a look down here, you will see that it's showing you how it would look in chat with the, both the light version and the dark version of Twitch chat. Of course, this is a pretty standard emote, but for your emotes, if you want to go crazy, I really advise you 
to go ahead and read the terms of services before even thinking about uploading your emotes, okay? So read all of the instructions, but also the rules regarding better TTV emotes. So let's go ahead and read them together because apparently a lot of people fail to just read the right side of the page and 60% of emotes just get rejected because of that. It's just wasting time and it's a free service. Of course, your emotes need to abide to Twitch um, terms of services. It really needs to follow Twitch's rules. You can't just go around and break the rules on Twitch, even if you're using an extension for your emotes. Second, reach. The emotes are local to your channel, which means you cannot use them in every channel. Even if they're your emotes, your own emotes, you can't. Um, even your viewers, they can't use them in every single channel, only in your channel. But on top of that, if people do not have the extension, Better Twitch TV, do not worry about this too much because it's very, very popular. But if someone doesn't have Better Twitch TV on their computer or they're using the, their mobile phone, they will not see the emotes and they won't be able to use them. Size, all submission must be uploaded in the correct size, 112 by 112. Images uploaded must be scaled properly, no blurry pixelated emotes that's very important if you have a very bad camera and you want an emote of your face and like the camera is blurry or is just out of focus consider either try to sharpen it in photoshop or not uploading it taking uh, the picture with your phone for example which usually has better cameras and and also can detect your face for the autofocus format this part is pretty important all submission must have transparent background and must be in PNG or GIF format. Emotes uploaded must also be visible in both the light and dark better TTV themes. Okay, so this is where you can um, see this. Emotes must be properly trimmed, no jagged edge. So as you've seen, I was using the pen tool to get a very, very clean cut around my face. All text must be readable when scaled down to 28 by 28. This is a big one. Um, I worked as an emote artist for a couple of people and they were often asking me to write like whole phrases, whole sentences. And I was like, no, this, imagine this being displayed at 28 by 28, nothing will be visible. So it's either going to get rejected or you will have an, an emote that is pretty much useless because no one can read what's on it. Five content in general, no profane, ob obscene content emotes that are deemed too lewd will be denied you know what they're talking about they're talking about the butt emotes <laughs> emotes with just letters will likely be denied only a few exceptions for popular acronyms words something like gg gg easy i guess will be accepted but if you have like n and then you have an i and you have a g um no they're they're absolutely not going to <laughs> accept single words because you and a friend can get like a bunch of words together um, and spam profanities. So yeah, if you had that in mind, uh, that's not going to work. Okay, multi-part emotes can form a maximum of two by two emotes, two horizontal and two vertical. Any larger configurations will be denied. I don't know if you've seen this. Um, I know that Moon Moon has, I'm always mentioning Moon Moon, but Moon Moon has this Widowmaker face that is four emotes in total that create one face basically you type two emotes and then you type two others and it creates this this cube well this cube the square with four emotes in it but it just creates one picture this is what they're on about um you can only get this exact format so two up, up top two at the bottom and nothing bigger than that six duplication duplication of twitch emotes or other better twitch tv emotes is expressly forbidden Stealing emotes is not cool. That is absolutely true. Stealing emotes is not cool. If you're trying to take a global Twitch TV emote and upload it through Better Twitch TV, not gonna work. It's gonna be denied. If you're trying to take a Better Twitch TV emote and re-upload it, make it your own, it's gonna be denied. Seven, copyright material. I, I don't think we need to go through this. Don't upload something if you don't own the rights. If it wasn't created specifically for you or if you didn't create it yourself, any user found to be using copyright materials without written permission from the copyright holder will be forcibly removed. Take note that they said user, any user, not any emote. They will not like remove the emote, like they will remove the emote, but they will also remove the user. So watch out for that. Denial of service. Number eight, 
Night Dev LCC reserves the right to deny service to any user at any time without prior notice. Failure to abide by these rules may result in emote rejection and an outright ban from this service. So watch out. Don't be dumb <laughs> and uh, read the rules before even thinking about uploading your emotes. Okay, so now that we're all ready, we read all the rules together. Click submit. Have you read uh, the rules? Yes, I did. And everyone else now. Now it's uploading. And there you go. Your emote has been successfully uploaded. It is now awaiting approval, which can take up to a few days, usually sooner. Okay, so once your emote is approved or declined, you will receive an email with the email that was uh, shown. And if you go to your Twitch channel and you have the extension, you will see your emote. Usually there's, you can type it in chat, it will appear, but usually there's a little emote menu that comes with Better Twitch TV where you can find all the Better Twitch TV uh, emotes, but also your emotes, your custom Better Twitch TV emotes. And now we just wait for the email. If you want any more info on this, go to jempanada.com. Her article is amazing. It'll give you all the details you need to know about how to go about getting all those emotes. I'm not sure about the total number of emotes that you can get, but the rumor says that you can get up to 10 emotes. That means if you're not affiliated, if you're not partnered, you can still get 10 emotes to use in your channel. If you are affiliated and if you are part or if you are partnered, you can get 10 more emotes for your viewers to spam in chat. This is amazing. Now I want you guys to go to the comment section below and tell me what is your favorite Twitch emote? Mine has to be LOL. LOL is my favorite emote. LUL. <laughs> and if you're already using Better Twitch TV, what's your favorite Better Twitch TV emote? Let me know in the comment section below, guys. That was it for me. My name is Gal Level. You can find me on Twitch at twitch.tv slash Level. And I will see you next time. Gal Level out. Like and subscribe.